What's up, flamethrowers? It is me, Flame the Dragon Hog here, and welcome to another installment of Best Of. Yeah, I know, guys, it's been a long, long, long time since I did another Best Of. I can't remember when the last one was. I can't remember. I think I left off on Tales and Sonic Pals. I really can't remember. But anyway, I'll look it up later. But anyway, guys, today... <sighs> As you guys all know, a very, very special, um, Sonic YouTuber actually commented on one of my videos, which was, just so happened to be a best of. And I really do appreciate her for what she did, and I really am happy that I actually got to talk to her. She's actually really nice. For those of you guys who don't know who it is, I'm talking about the one, the only, Queen A.G., Yep, I'm talking about Queen A.G. Now, I'm not gonna lie. Queen, she is definitely an amazing voice actress and when it comes to the uh, Sonic franchise over here and what they do over there. I mean, she has voice acted uh, for many different characters. She voice acted as Rosie the Rascal, a.k.a. Anti-Amy. Um, she also voiced act as Breezy the Hedgehog. She also voiced act as Sticks the Badger, and she also voice act as <laughs> my favorite version of Amy, which is C -c -c Crazy Amy, you know, from the Mashed video. But anyway, guys, today I'm going to be showing you guys some of my favorite videos that she has done. Now, keep in mind, guys, these videos that I'm about to show you are not officially from her channel since, you know, she hasn't done anything like VR chat and stuff like that as much on her channel. But I'm not going to lie, for all the other channels that she has voice acted in, um, I don't know if I should put them down in the description below because, you know, they are like, you know, um, different stuff. <laughs> but anyway, um, so yeah, hopefully, hopefully... You guys definitely enjoyed this video because I'm not going to lie, I really enjoy just listening to her. And just let you know, whenever I get, whenever I see a video that has her in it, I immediately get excited because I'm not going to lie, guys, this voice actor, this voice actress is just amazing. She does a whole bunch of different voices that I just named off and I actually left one off I'm sorry she actually does Sonya the Hedgehog you know Sonic's sister but anyway I'm not gonna lie she is just amazing okay anyway so without further ado let's begin with the video guys let's begin with the video so like I said before guys I'm gonna be uh listing off some of my favorite videos that she has voice acted in Remember, they are not from her channel, but I will be putting her channel down in the description below, so that way you guys can go check her out. And if you guys want, you can also uh, go check out lots of other videos that she uh, starred in. Like, go to channels like Speedy Blue, Shadow the Hedgehog, um, Tiveria, Sailor Peace, and lots of others. Because those are just some of the because those are just some of the uh, people that she has voice acted for and with. And I'm not gonna lie. Her and that little group, I really do like it a lot. And maybe one day I would want to be part of that group. It would be kind of nice. Anyway, <clears throat> without further ado, let's begin. All right, so the first video that I really enjoyed seeing her in is this one. This, this video you can find on Shadow the Hedgehog's channel. It is titled Crazy Amy and Crazy Tales vs. Shadow and Sonic. See, look. It all started like what? It's like what? A uh, four? No, 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 not four. Let's say three video part. And this is part three. It all started in the Chow Garden when. Uh, it all started in the Chow Garden when Sonic and when Sonic and Shadow ran into Crazy Tails and they started chasing him all over the Chow Garden until they finally cornered. Until they finally cornered him and lots of other stuff. It was just insane. Part two was when Shadow first met Crazy Amy, who was trying to meet up with Crazy Tails, so that way they can go to another universe, because you know the whole concept of it. They're traveling from universe to universe to try and find uh, perfect, the perfect Sonic and lots of other stuff. And then we run, then, <laughs> believe it or not, part three, 
was, well, sorry, sorry, this is like a four part, I'm sorry. But anyway, part three was when Sonic came by and saw how crazy Amy's been beating the crap out of Shadow. <laughs> it was too funny. And she, and he was trying her very, and he was trying his very, very best to uh, calm her down and lots of other stuff. It was pretty insane. And here's part four. When Shadow and Sonic had to face off against them, so that way they don't die or anything. Because, you know, it's just crazy. And so Shadow and Sonic, they actually came up with a plan to finally get rid of them. Because their prime target was actually Sonic. Their prime target was Sonic. So, they actually, so Shadow, he and Sonic came up with an idea for Shadow to off Sonic, a.k.a. kill him. So that way, they don't go after them anymore. And it actually worked for the moment. But until then, but you do know, but we all know for a fact that both Crazy Amy and Crazy Tails ain't gonna fall for that trick for very long. But that's a story for a different time. But anyway, I really enjoyed this video so much. It was actually really, really funny. I really enjoyed it, especially the ending. <laughs> especially the ending of the video. That was actually really, really funny. It's actually really funny. I really liked it a lot. It's really crazy. But anyway, I'm not gonna lie. Queen, you really did, you really did do a great job in this video. I'm not gonna lie. You really did do a great job. Anyway, next video, and that would be this one. When Crazy Amy meets Normal Amy and Shadow. <laughs> Yeah, this is actually pretty crazy. You see, Shadow and Amy, they were just walking through a Green Hill Zone when all of a sudden they ran into Crazy Amy. And Crazy Amy, she was just so, believe it or not, happy to see another version of herself. <laughs> because it's just really, really crazy. Because, uh, not gonna lie, she's just been fangirling over Amy for I don't know how long. Because, you know, she's actually really happy that she actually seen another version of herself. It's really, she keeps calling her cute and all that stuff. And and uh, it's also kind of crazy that the fact that, you know, um, Shadow and Amy tried to trick her into saying that they were a couple. Which was gross. Ew. Blech. And uh, <laughs> crazy Amy, she was a little bit surprised to see an Amy go for a fake Sonic, a.k.a. Shadow. <laughs> It was just funny. It's really funny. And I'm not gonna lie, it is pretty gross. Blech. I mean, I just, I mean, I just really don't like the uh, Shad Amy. It's just a really, really gross ship. It's really gross and disgusting. Blech. I just hate it. Okay, but anyway, I'm not gonna lie, Queen actually did do a really great job as Crazy Amy in this. She really did do a great job. She actually really did. I'm not gonna lie, she really, really did do a great job. <laughs> okay, well, anyway, next up is... This one, where Crazy Amy played Would You Rather with Shadow and Amy. Okay, now, again, it's just too crazy. Because, you know, Crazy Amy is always there and stuff. Guys, I really am not going to lie. Out of all the versions of Amy, whether it be Boom Amy, Modern Amy, Classic Amy, uh, Rosie, Possessed Amy, or whatever, Crazy Amy is definitely one of my favorite versions of her, okay? She's definitely one of my favorite versions of her. She's actually really, really funny and amazing. <laughs> Besides the fact that she is crazy, but yeah, anyway, um Excuse me. So anyway, um, yeah, so crazy Amy and Shadow and Amy They played a game of would you rather and if Shadow and Amy wins then crazy Amy would have to leave <laughs> And if she went and if crazy Amy wins she uh <laughs> Has to bash in they bash in their faces. Well, I'm not gonna lie crazy Amy. She has been on Many different channels. She's been on many different channels. Well, not not Queen's version, just two different versions. There's another one that I seen on Movie Sonic's channel. That was just really crazy. Another one that I seen on Silver the Hedgehog's channel where Movie Sonic met uh, Crazy Amy. It was really crazy. But anyway, yeah, so they played a game Would You Rather, and she actually did do a really, really great job. I'm not going to lie. She did great. She really did great. I really love it. Anyway, moving on, and here we go, where two evil beings actually meet. We have Crazy Amy meeting Sonic.exe. Now, guys, I really am not going to lie. This is definitely going to be one weird uh, thing. I mean, so basically what happened was, was that 
Crazy Tails and Crazy Amy, they don disguises to make them look like normal Tails and normal Amy. So that way, no one can, you know, recognize them as, you know, crazy. And so, Crazy Tails teleported Crazy Amy to the first location of a Sonic. But, he, but she ended up in the EXE world, where she met Sonic.EXE. <laughs> and so, they decided to team up to try and take on Shadow. But then Shadow convinced Crazy Amy that Sonic.EXE is nothing but a fake Sonic. Which is kind of true. I mean, all, all, all Sonic.EXE was was just a uh, demon that was taken over by Sonic's body. That took over Sonic's body. So in a way, he is kind of like a fake Sonic, in a way. Not that I don't have a problem with uh, Sonic.exe. He is my good friend and all, but yeah, it's actually just pretty crazy. But anyway, uh, so yeah, Crazy Amy and Sonic.exe, they teamed up to uh, try and take on so Shadow. Shadow. I almost said Shadow.exe, sorry. I mean, took on, take on Shadow, but unfortunately, Shadow, he actually... Um, <laughs> Shadow, he sort of, kind of convinced her that that Sonic.exe is nothing but a, a fake Sonic and all that stuff. It was just really crazy and bad. Yikes. Uh, anyway, um, so yeah, hey, yeah, so uh, this video was actually really nice. I really enjoyed watching it, and uh, I really do hope that one day that uh, Crazy Amy actually does one day meet a Sonic that um actually does like her a lot. <laughs> but, uh, hey, maybe one day. Nah, nah, I might talk about that later. Anyway, next video. Next one. Oh, and this happened right after the EXE video when Crazy Amy meets, meets uh, Movie Sonic. Okay, so basically what happened was, was that Movie Sonic, he was just running around Green Hill Zone. Then next thing you know, he ran into Crazy Amy. He ran into Crazy Amy. Well, disguised Crazy Amy. And, well, <laughs> at first, he thought that she was really cute and all, until Cra until Shadow came around and said that uh, that's not really what she looks like. And so he showed her a picture. He showed Movie Sonic a picture of what she really looked like. And, uh, yeah, that was definitely a... Uh, different turn. <laughs> yeah, that was definitely a different turn. It was definitely really crazy. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. So, uh, yeah, Crazy Amy and Shadow once again got into a uh, hammer versus fist fight and lots of other stuff. And movie Sonic, he actually uh, used a portal ring to uh, get her the heck out of there. <laughs> yeah, so that was just really nuts and crazy. And to tell you the truth, I honestly don't know what the heck's going to be happening with a movie uh, with uh, Amy, well, with Crazy Amy and Crazy Tales. I honestly don't know what the heck's going to be happening. Anyway, enough with that. Moving on to the next one. Okay, enough talking about the craziness. Enough talking about the craziness. Now we're on to this video that I actually like. It's when Sonic and Shadow meets up with... The gender bent version of Team Triple S or Team SSS, whichever one, it's the same thing. But anyway, you see, Sonic and Shadow, they were actually just doing dimension hopping, trying to get back to their world, when by accident they end up in the gender bent world, where they meet Sonica, Shadina, and Sylvia, the gender bent versions of themselves and Silver. It was just really crazy. I mean, Sonic, he was actually really happy to see them. Well, of course, Shadow, he really didn't want to see them because, number one, he really didn't like Sonica because of what happened in the past. Because of what happened in the past with her flirting. And he really didn't like Shadina. Well, he did like Shadina until she uh, told him that she was about, that she was about to marry um, Boom Sonic, but, you know, that was definitely a travesty, sorry. And, of course, he really doesn't like Sylvia because of the fact that, you know, she flirted with him. It was just bad. It was bad. It was really bad. But anyway, um, so, yeah, Sonic and Shadow, they were just hanging out with the gender bents for a little while. 
So until they can find a way to get back to the uh, their world, it was really crazy and stuff. But um, <laughs> I really am not gonna lie. Sonic, he really did have a lot of fun meeting with uh, Sylvia, Shadina, and uh, Sonica. They actually did have a lot of fun. It was actually really fun. <laughs> I really did like it. Anyway, moving on to the next video. Now this one is definitely one of my favorites. It was... <laughs> so it's when Shadow meets the gender bents. Uh, just this, just him. This, this, this time it's just him. This video happened before Sonic and Shadow meets up with the gender bents again. But anyway, this happened. See, look. Shadow, he was just dimension hopping, like always, again, and he ended up in the gender bent world. Once again, where he met up with Shadina, Sonica, and Sylvia. Once again. And so they and so Shadow, he was just being all loud and obnoxious, like, no, no, I can't believe I'm here again. Ah, and all that other stuff. It was just really crazy. And so the girls actually decided, you know what? How about we have a little bit of fun with him? So they pretended that they liked him again and started chasing him all over the place. Oh my gosh. But in the end, but in the end, they were all just playing jokes on each other because, you know, Sonica's with Alex Thorne, Shadina, she's with Rogue, and Sylvia, she's with, um, Torch. <laughs> you know, the gender-bent versions of, uh, Amy, Rouge, and Blaze. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. But anyway, yeah, so, uh, I'm not gonna lie, Queen, you really did do a great job at Sylvia. You actually do do a really great job. <laughs> You're really funny and stuff. You're really funny. Anyway, moving on to the next one. Oh man, okay, now this one, this one was when Sa when Shadow was just wa walking around his, walking around the area, just making sure everything's on straight, when all of a sudden he ran into Sylvia. <laughs> and let me just tell you, he really did not like being around Sylvia. He really didn't. He really didn't like it, because it was just really stupid and crazy, because, you know, she, uh, because, you know, she's trying really, really hard to be nice to Shadow. She's really trying really hard to be nice to Shadow, but it's kind of good, but it's kind of crazy. I mean, come on, Shadow. Every time you always see a gender bent, you always think that they're trying to go after you or something. It's kind of crazy. But anyway, um, <laughs> it was actually really funny. It was actually really funny and stuff. It was actually really great and crazy because, you know, they were playing hide and seek and, um... <laughs> Sylvia actually wasn't was actually trying really hard to try and find Shadow, but he was not trying to be found or anything. He was just trying to find a way out of there so that way he could just get away from Sylvia. He was just trying to get away from her. I mean, if I was Shadow, I would easily just, you know, stick around for a little while. I mean, come on, think about it. Sylvia is not that bad. I mean, sure, she may be the gender bent version of Silver, and sure. She does have a little bit of problems with her psychokinesis and all that stuff, but she's actually really nice. I mean, come on, Shadow. I mean, when will you ever learn that these gender bents, they don't want you? And just be and just because you guys had some history in the past, that doesn't mean that, you know, it's going to be repeating itself in the present. Crazy guy. Uh, anyway, moving on. Uh, okay, now this is definitely a funny one. Now, this one's definitely a funny one. You guys can find this one on the, uh, <laughs> on the Silver the Hedgehog and Friends channel. Not the Silver the Hedgehog channel, the Silver the Hedgehog and Friends channel. This is basically a comic dub that, uh, Silver and Sylvia did. You see, Sylvia, she snuck a kiss from Shadow, and it was just too crazy, and, Sh and Silver was all for it. It was really, really funny. I mean, it's a really, really short video, but it was still definitely really funny. I liked it a lot. I really did like it a lot. It was funny. Anyway, moving on. Okay, now, <laughs> now this one I really enjoyed. I really enjoyed, but, you know, just to let you know, guys, I kind of got click... Okay, I'm just going to be honest, guys. I got clickbaited by the, by the thumbnail. I got clickbaited by the thumbnail. I know, I know, I know. You're def I know what you guys are probably going to say. Flame, you perv. I mean, did you really think that the gender bands were going to be wearing bikinis and all that stuff? Yeah, I know. It was crazy. But anyway, pfft, enough with that. Anyway, this one was titled, 
uh, Team Triple S meets Gender Bent Team Triple S. Basically what happened was, was that they were at this beach location that is very well known to Sonic and Shadow. <laughs> they love going to this beach. Then, out of then, then, so they decided to bring Silver along. And believe it or not, Silver, he had never been there. He never been there, but it was definitely really crazy. But anyway, um, basically what happened was, was that Sonic, Shadow, and Silver, they were just going to, you know, just hang out at the beach just by themselves when all of a sudden they run into their gender-bent selves. They run into their gender-bent selves. <laughs> I know, they can't catch a break from them, I know. But I'm not gonna lie, they actually do have a lot of fun. They, they, they actually had a lot of fun exploring the beach around a beach area around the place it, they did they definitely did have a lot of fun it was really funny and again guys please do not hate me because i got click baited okay do not hate me because i got click baited hey i'm pretty sure a lot of you guys definitely did get click baited as too i mean come on be honest i'm pretty sure a lot of you guys did get click baited as well uh okay well anyway yeah so they actually did have a lot of fun oh and also if you ask me out of all the gender bends who definitely have the best bikini, uh, it's between Shadina and Sylvia, okay? It's between <laughs> Shadina and Sylvia. No offense, Sonica, but... Yeah, anyway, moving on to the next video. Now, this one was definitely really funny. And let me just say, Shadow, he was really, really ticked off when he found... When, I, when, he, uh, when this happened to him. Basically what happened was, was that Shadow and Silver, they were just walking around the area when all of a sudden they run into Sylvia, <laughs> once again, and now Shadow has to deal with two Silver idiots, so to speak, so to speak. I'm not calling, I'm not calling Sylvia an idiot, okay, I'm not calling Sylvia an idiot, but anyway, um, so the whole time Shadow has been dealing with those two because they're definitely really crazy and stuff. They actually did have a lot of fun uh, just poking at Shadow, making fun of him and all that other stuff, and just seeing Shadow really, really annoying, really, really annoyed. I mean, they really do find, they really do find it funny just seeing Shadow annoyed, especially Sylvia. Sylvia really enjoys seeing uh, Shadow really annoyed, because <laughs> he makes some really, really funny noises once he uh, gets annoyed, like, ah! Ah, ah, and all that other stuff. I mean, come on. It's just you crazy. Anyway, so, yeah. I really think that Queen actually did do a really great video. I mean, great job with this one. She actually really does know what she's doing. She really is really, really funny when it came to this. She's really, really funny. Anyway, moving on to the next one. Okay, now this one you can find on Speedy Blue's channel. It was when Sylvia... It was when Sylvia and Sonic go on DeviantArt. Guys, there's three things you definitely do need to look out for when it comes to the Sonic community. One, the fan art. The fan art, aka the DeviantArt or whatever. Because let me just say, some people, they can definitely go really, really overboard when it comes to the fan art. Some people really, really go overboard when it comes to the fan art. Like, they make it too inappropriate, they make it too weird, and all that other stuff. Like, for example, drawing Rouge with massive bazonkazonks, or drawing those muscular versions of Sonic characters, or just making them, or weird feet, or weird feet stuff. Ugh, gross. Ugh, ugh, ugh. I could just, I can, guys, I'm not gonna lie, I've been on DeviantArt so many times, I... I can't get the image out of my brother's feet. Oh my god, I can't, I can't, I can't. Ugh. Okay, but anyway, pfft. another part is the shipping. We definitely do need to be careful with the shipping, okay guys? We really need to be careful with the shipping because, I'm not gonna lie guys, Sonic ships, they're really intense. Sonic ships are really, really intense. Like, people, they, le they legit get into wars to, to, to know which is the best Sonic ship? Like, don't get me started on the Sun Amy versus Sun Alley thing. Please do not get me started on that. Because lots of people, they really still think that uh, Sun Alley is a better ship than Sun Amy. Because lots of reasons. But anyway, uh, and last but not least, the third part is, well, 
YouTube itself because YouTube sometimes does like shaming YouTube char YouTube characters. Like there is this one uh, guy on YouTube. I'm not gonna say his name, but he keeps bad mouthing Amy. He keeps bad mouthing Amy and saying that Sally's better. I'm not gonna say the name, but I'm pretty sure if you guys do if you guys do know who I'm talking about, good for you. But I'm not gonna lie. That's definitely dangerous. But anyway, moving on to this. Um, the DeviantArt video that they did was actually really, really funny because <laughs> just seeing Sylvia react to her fan art, in fact, she was actually really surprised that lots of people really do like her a lot. I mean, it's not just, you know, a uh, torch or something because, you know, they actually do like her because, you see, she's known in her world as being the most weakest out of all of them. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, she definitely isn't weak. I mean, come on, if Silver's strong, then I know she's definitely strong as well. And it was definitely really weird seeing shipping pictures of uh, her and Sonic. That was definitely a little bit weird, but it was definitely really crazy as well. It was funny. I'm not gonna lie, that was definitely really funny. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, excuse me, anyway, um, Sonic, he definitely enjoyed seeing the DeviantArt pictures. Not as much, but Sylvia definitely did have a blast. I mean, she was actually really happy that she has so much fan art. And, you know, she's actually she was actually really, really happy. And she enjoyed it. So, yeah, it was definitely really nice. Anyway, moving on to the next video. Okay, this one's a little bit blurry, but you guys can definitely see who's in the thumbnail. But anyway... Um, basically what happened was, was that Sonic and, basically Sonic and Gadget, they were called by Blaze and Silver, they were called by Blaze and Silver to the Soul Dimension to, um, so not only Gadget can meet, uh, Blaze, so not only can Gadget meet Blaze because he already met Silver, but he also, but they were also there to, um, <laughs> go get Sylvia because, you know, Sylvia was just running around the castle acting all crazy all because she didn't want to go home. All because she didn't want to go home. Because, you see, she really didn't want to go home because she was considered as a loser over there. No offense, she's not a loser, but I'm not going to lie, she really didn't want to go home because she was really worried that the people that picks on her will continue to pick on her. And so they were all just running around. So they were all just running around the castle trying to get her to calm down and all that other stuff. It was definitely really funny. I'm not going to lie. It was really funny. And not to mention Gadget actually did have a lot of fun meeting Blaze and um, Sylvia. It was really crazy. But again, they actually did have a lot of fun. But anyway, but anyway, they actually did convince Sylvia to finally go home. They actually convinced her to finally go home. And they did have a lot of fun. It was definitely really funny. Anyway, moving on. Oh, man. Now, who can forget this one? This one. <laughs> this one was when Shadow first meets Sylvia. Now, let me just tell you this, guys. It was definitely really crazy. Because, you see, Shadow, he just came back from a GUN mission. Shadow just came back from a GUN mission to find Sonic on the beach with a mysterious gray hedgehog who he thought was silver. Ah. But nope, it wasn't silver. It was actually Sylvia. Ah. And so he was actually really disgusted at the fact that that he was really disgusted. And um, <laughs> he, just, he tried to drown himself in the ocean because he really wanted to drown and he didn't want to be in the same world with her. It was crazy, but anyway, um, she actually really enjoyed meeting, uh, Shadow. She really enjoyed meeting Shadow, even though Shadow really didn't enjoy meeting her. It was crazy, but, um, <laughs> it was definitely really crazy, but, um, yeah, it was, um, really fun. It was really fun, and she really did get a kick out of meeting Shadow. It was really funny, and Sonic, he was just hanging around laughing because she really enjoyed meeting him, and... Thinking that he was funny and all that stuff. I mean, come on. Who wouldn't think that Shadow's funny with all the crazy noises he makes? But anyway, um, so, yeah. It's definitely really funny. I'm not gonna lie. It was really funny, and it was really cool of her to introduce a new character that she can voice act as. It was really cool. I mean, Queen, you really did do, you really did do a great job. Mm, excuse me. Burped. <laughs> Sorry, I just got done eating my breakfast. 
Cheerios. Ugh. Okay, anyway, moving on to the next video. Okay, now this one I remember. <laughs> this was when Styx the Badger and Sonic plays Would You Rather. It was definitely really stupid yet funny. I mean, so basically what happened was, was that Styx, she got teleported to the modern world and she got, and because of her craziness, she got so confused thinking that she was still in the boom world. She, but, because, you know, she saw Sonic and, um, because she saw Sonic and immediately thought that he got a new upgrade. Like, he, he was, he was a whole lot shorter, his arms wasn't blue, didn't take, didn't have the bandages and all that other stuff. You know, the, uh, sports tape, it was really crazy. But anyway, um, <laughs> it was really stupid yet funny, but they did actually have a lot of fun together. They actually did have a lot of fun. It was really crazy yet stupid at the same time. It was really funny. I mean, just seeing Sticks really does make my day. I mean, come on. Sticks the Badger is definitely one crazy Sonic character. I mean, she's a lot of fun and stuff. But anyway, yeah, I'm not going to lie. Queen definitely did do a great job voice acting as her. And I'm not going to lie. She really she really does fit the um, the description of Sticks. Well, well, not description. I meant to say character. The character of Sticks. Crazy, insane, and really, really funny. <laughs> anyway, moving on to the next one. Oh, man, now we're getting into the nitty-gritty. We're talking about when Sonic and his other version, Maurice, meets Crazy Amy. This is when they first meet Crazy Amy. You see, Sonic and his other version of himself, Maurice, were actually just traveling around in a cave and stuff, making fun of how Maurice is scared of bats, <laughs> vampires, Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> anyway, um, they were just hanging out, having a good time, when all of a sudden, they ran into this mysterious person. And turns out, it was Amy. It was Amy. She was, she was actually an Amy from another world, where <laughs> it was just really insane. And so, and Sonic actually noticed how clingy she actually was to both him and Maurice. It was really crazy. It was really insane. Well, <laughs> Soon, they discovered who she really was. Crazy Amy from the Mashed Universe. From the Mashed Universe, or a Crazy World, where she teamed up with Crazy Tails. And, uh, yeah, but anyway, they actually started running around trying to dodge her because she was actually, she actually did get crazy after when she found out that, uh, Sonic was already with an Amy, and even though Maurice's Amy is, well, dead, He's still trying to bring her back and all that other stuff. But then she immediately got crazy and tried to kill them because not only was she mad at the fact that, you know, she couldn't have them, but she was also saddened at the fact that, you know, they found her really, really repulsing. I mean, come on, think about it. All the scars and all the bandages and all that other stuff, the mascara running down her eyes, the heart eyes and everything, the black lipstick and everything. I mean, come on, who wouldn't be scared of that? I mean, I'm not scared of it, but... I'm just saying, it's definitely insane. Anywho, uh, anywho, this was, this was Queen AG's first ever, uh, video of being Crazy Amy. This was her first time ever being Crazy Amy, and she really did do a great job, I'm not gonna lie, she really did do a great job. So, yeah, anyway, moving on to the next one. <laughs> ah, man, now this one was really funny. This one was actually, um... Part three of that crazy arc that I was talking about. Well, not an arc, but those, but those the uh, videos with uh, Shadow and Sonic. But anyway, yeah, this is part three. This was when uh, <laughs> Crazy Amy once again meets up with Sonic, and yeah, things definitely did get really hectic from there. Like <laughs> them, like so like ain't like pfft, Sonic was trying really, really hard to calm her down, and we, and while Shadow, he's still getting his butt kicked. It's really funny. Ah. And you can find this on Speedy Blue's channel, just so you know. Anyway, um, it's really, really funny and stupid at the same time. But um, they really did do a great job with, the, with this video. They really did do a really, really great job. Not going to lie. They did do a really, really great job. Um, and again, Queen did do a really, really great job voice acting as Crazy Amy. And I'm not going to lie. She... <laughs> The thumbnail picture of her, she really does look really cute. I'm not going to lie. She really does look kind of cute in this thumbnail picture. I mean, come on. Who wouldn't look at this and say that she's not cute? I mean, the sharp teeth and everything is kind of scary, but 
Overall, she's just trying to be happy and try and find a, a boyfriend. That's all. But, if, but, a little bit of advice, Crazy Amy. No need to be so forceful. Ask if she has a boyfriend first. Then you, uh, you know, go for the kill. Well, not really kill, but you know what I mean. <laughs> anyway, uh, moving on to the next video. Moving on to the next one. Oh, man. Okay, now this one's definitely really good. This You can find this video on Multiverse Sonic's channel. Um, basically, what happened was, was that Multi, he was actually going to stay with Modern Sonic, or Game Sonic, whichever one, and where he actually meets his family, where he meets his family. First, he meets Sonya, who is also, e, who is also Queen E.G., I mean, no, not E.G., I meant to say A.G., sorry. <laughs> anyway, she actually met him and started calling him Neon Sonic because he glue blue in that, in that lighting. It was actually really crazy. It was uh, stupid but funny. <laughs> anyway, uh, they actually did get along pretty well. They actually, they actually did get along pretty well, except for when Sonya was actually steady, always telling him to, uh, don't go inside my room, don't sleep in my bed, don't use my computer and all that other stuff. Luckily, Multi was like, don't worry, I'm not planning on doing that. Because <laughs> let me just tell you, Sonya, even my version of Sonya is not like that. I'm just saying, even my version of Sonya is definitely not like this. I'm not going to lie, it's really crazy and funny. Whew. But anyway, Multi and, Multi and the rest of Sonic's family actually did have a lot of fun. They actually did have a lot of fun. <laughs> it was really funny. Anyway, she, she really did do a great job voice acting as Sonya. She really did do a great job. Anyway, but guys, not gonna lie, this isn't the first time she ever voice acted as Sonya, okay? This isn't the first time. Anyway, moving on. Okay, now we're, now we're on to the video that really, really broke my heart. This one really broke my heart. Now, for those of you guys who don't know, Rosie... She is the anti-Amy. Yes, I know. But believe it or not, a but believe it or not, Rosie, she was really, really jealous at the fact that, you know, Scourge is with Fiona, okay? He's, she's really jealous at that. She's really, really jealous. And so, in this video, while Scourge and Fiona were out on a date, were out on a date, Rosie, she sort of crashed their date. She sort of crashed their date. And she was uh, all trying to uh, get Scourge to try and take her back. Because, you know, she thinks that she's better than Fiona and all that other stuff. It was just insane. She really, really missed Scourge. In fact, she missed Scourge completely. Because at this time, Scourge changed. He really changed. Because, you see, he's no longer trying to take over Moebius or Mobius or whatever. He's not trying to do all that. Right now, he's just trying to have a simple, plain life and trying to be good. He's just trying to be simple. Have a family, have kids, and all that other stuff. While Rosie, on the other hand, she wants Scourge to go back to the way he was. You know, evil and crazy, trying to take over the world and all that stuff. But <laughs> Scourge just wasn't like that. Scourge wasn't into it. And that really, really made Rosie upset because she really, really wanted Scourgey to come back. And not only that, but after when Scourge told Rosie to, um, you know, leave Moebius and never come back, that really hurt her. That really hurt her. And to all the viewers, that really hurt me too. That really did hurt me as well because I'm not going to lie, Rosie may be crazy and evil, but... Hey, even crazy and evil people need love, too. I mean, that, this video really did hurt me a lot. It really did hurt. And I know it was just acting and all that stuff, but I hate to admit it, but I did leave a uh, really nasty comment on Scourge's channel. I'm sorry, Scourge, if you saw that. I really am sorry. But um, if you want, I can take it down. I promise I'll take it down. And also, one other thing. This video really did hurt me a lot. It really did hurt me. Also, uh, Queen, uh, 
I know this video was like, what, months or years ago? I can't remember. But I just want to know, are you okay after making this video? Because from because I can definitely tell through Rosie's voice and your voice. I know it's all acting, but are you okay from, you know, making Rosie cry and all that stuff? I just hope that, you know, I know it's all acting and stuff, but I really did hope that it didn't really hurt your feelings. I mean, even though we hardly know each other, I mean, I just want to look out for you, okay? I just really want to look out for you. I mean, like I said, I know it's all acting and stuff, but I just hate seeing people be mean to each other and, you know, yell at each other for all that stuff. Like I said, I know it's just acting, but yeah. <laughs> just want to know if you're okay. Anyway, let's move on to the next video. I think we're getting close to the end, guys. I think we're getting really, really close. I think we're, I think we're like halfway there. Anyway, moving on. Okay, so next up we have is Rosie meeting Fleetway Sonic. Now this one is definitely really crazy. This one was when, after a long time, Sonic actually let Fleetway Sonic out. Actually let Fleetway out. After many, many years of being trapped inside Sonic's body, he actually managed to um, unleash Fleetway. Where he, where actually Fleetway met Rosie, and they immediately fell in love with each other. They fell in love, and it was pretty stupid yet crazy. They actually did fall in love with each other, and um, the reason why is because she actually, that, all because, well, <laughs> Fleetway really does know Rosie so much. Because she's crazy like he is. Loving total chaos and annihilation. Because, and I'm not going to lie, that's definitely some couple. That's definitely some couple, not going to lie. I mean, this was when they first met. And honestly, I'm not going to lie, that whole arc was definitely weird. That whole arc was definitely weird. And you can find this on Speedy Blue's channel, just so you know. Anyway, this video was definitely really crazy and stuff, but hey, look at the bright side. At least Rosie finally found her equal, you know, someone who likes chaos just as much as she does. <laughs> anyway, moving on to the next one. Oh man, okay, so now we are on to this one where Fleetway and Rosie actually um <laughs> go out on a date and stuff. I go out on a date and all that other stuff. It was really, really crazy and stuff. After destroying an entire town and stuff, it was just bad. It was just really, really bad. Eh. But as bad as it is, they actually did have a lot of fun together. You know, destroying worlds and all sorts of other chaos and stuff. And again, guys, I got clickbaited again. I got clickbaited again. Okay, I got clickbaited. I need to stop. Anyway... Um, she actually did have a lot of fun, you know, taking on all those, uh, weaklings and stuff. It's, uh, definitely really crazy. <laughs> anyway, uh, so, yeah. And also, um, I really want to know something. Now that Fleetway is out of Sonic and all that stuff, now that they're separated and Rosie and Fleetway are back together, I wonder what's gonna happen. I honestly don't know what's going to happen. I really don't know. I really want to know what the heck's going to happen between Fleetway and Rosie. I really want to know what's going to happen. Probably another Fleetway arc. I don't know. It might be another Fleetway arc. I don't know. It might be. I just hope not. Because, you know, Multi isn't teaming up with, uh, you know, Modern Sonic anymore and all that other stuff. It's, uh pretty insane anywho let's continue on all right so next up we have is the sonic underground playing sonic world you can find this on speedy blues channel anyway basically what happened was was that sonic and his siblings manic and sonya they were just sitting back playing sonic world <laughs> And that was definitely really crazy. After a long while, they finally returned. The Sonic Underground finally returned. After a long while. I mean, after the Christmas video and all that stuff of them going shopping. It was really crazy. But anyway, um, so yeah, they actually played a game of uh, Sonic World. Because it's actually really fun and stuff. And sure, Sonya and Manic, they didn't play Sonic World at first. 
you know, they didn't play it, they didn't get it the first time. Well, Manic, he played Sonic World first, but Sonya never played it. They actually did have a lot of fun playing this game. It was really funny and stuff, hearing them argue and catch up on old times and all that other stuff. They really enjoyed it. They really enjoyed um, that and stuff. It was really funny. Anywho, yeah, I'm not gonna lie, Sonya and Manic, they... It was really nice seeing them back onto the channel. Sonic, you really do need to bring on your siblings more and more. You really do. Because, well, there is one video that I really, really want to for you to do. I know if, I know this is about Queen, but I really want you to um do a video where Sonya and Amy and Sonic hang out. I would really, really want to see that. Because, you know, I really would like to see two sisters-in-law bonding. I really would like to see that. Well, not sisters-in-laws, but maybe. I don't know. <laughs> oh man, sorry Sonic. I already made you and so I already made you and Amy walk down the old already walked down the aisle already. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, let's just keep going. Now this one <laughs> I found really funny. This one I found really funny. You can also find this on Speedy Blue's channel, but you can also find this on uh you can also find this on Shadow's channel. Also this one was really funny. See, what happened was, was that Sonic, he really, him, Sonya, and Manic, they were just walking around. Uh, I forgot the place that uh, Sonic Unleashed is. I forgot the place. But anyway, um, they were just walking around. Then next thing you know, they see Shadow with a um, hot dog cart selling chili dogs and ice cream and all that other stuff. <sighs> Sorry guys, I'm yawning. Whew. Sorry about that. Anyway, it was really funny seeing them again. <laughs> it was really funny. Well, uh, Shadow, he was a little bit mean towards Manic. He was really mean towards her, towards him. And as soon as he meets Sonya, that's when Sonic and Manic's protective sibling uh, genes kicked in. Because just to let you know, Shadow, he was really being aggressive towards Sonya. And let me just say, Sonya really liked it. He, she really liked it. She liked Shadow. It was really, it was ugh, just disgusting. Ew. It was just disgusting. I mean, why? Just why? Anyway, it was really gross. It's so gross. Ugh, it's so gross. Ugh, but anyway, Sonic and Manic, they were trying really, really hard to um, make Shadow back off. But unfortunately, Sonya, she was actually really happy that she met Shadow because calling her pretty and all that stuff, and it was just really crazy. But also, there is one thing, though. Shadow, you are definitely a simp because you be simping over all these different women you find beautiful. I mean, you simped over Rouge. You simped over who else? Uh... Nazara, the gender bad version of Nazo, and now you are simping over Sonya. That was just crazy. Ugh. Oh, man. Shadow, when are you ever going to get this to your head? That you can't have multiple women fall for you, dude. You got to pick one or the other, you idiot. I mean, I know you're the ultimate life form and everything, but wow. Anyway, moving on. Okay, now this one, wow, I found crazy. Emphasis of the word crazy because Fleetway was involved. Basically, what happened was was that uh, Jewel the Hedgehog, a.k.a. Sonic's dad, after many years, came back. He came back and followed and followed Sonic to his house, to his family house. He followed them. It was just bad. Really, really bad. Because you see, what happened was is that everybody was really affected over, you know, seeing Jules. Manic, he was affected. Sonya was infected. Alina was infected. Everybody was infected to see him there. After many years of him leaving Alina and just going off to do all, going off to do God knows what. I mean, it was just insane, guys. I mean, I just hate deadbeat parents. I hate deadbeat parents. You know, abandoning your kids 
uh, just abandoning your kids just because you didn't want to be a father or because you were scared of the responsibilities. I just hate deadbeat kid, deadbeat parents. I just hate them. <sighs> but anyway, believe it or not, this was actually all part of the Fleetway arc. This was all part of the Fleetway arc because, believe it or not, Fleetway, because of him still being inside of Sonic, it really affected the negative emotions of everybody that's around him. And yes, Fleetway can actually affect the negative emotions inside of people. Just because, just when, just when Sonic is there. It's crazy. Ugh. But anyway, it was a really, really great, well put video. Well, not well put, put together video. It was a well put together video. It still made me sad just seeing Sonya and Alina cry like that. That was just bad. Not only that, but Sonic, <laughs> he really did stand up to Jules like that. He really did stand up to Jules. And I'm also not going to lie, he actually did do a really great job just standing up to him. Ah, oh, man, it was just insane. Ugh. Anyway, moving on to the next video. Okay, now this one was really, really bad. Once again, Fleetway was in control of this. This was when Sonya was so angry at Sonic that she actually started to attack him. Like, that was just really bad. Like, I really just don't like it when siblings fight. Especially when it's Sonya facing off against Sonic. Because, you know Sonic, he would never hurt, he would never hurt his siblings. He would never hurt them. I mean, Manic, maybe, but <laughs> I'm kidding, not Manic. I'm kidding, not Manic. Because, you know, Manic does sometimes get on everybody's nerves with him being in jail and all that other crap. It was crazy. But anyway, but not Sonya, because think about it. Shadow would never, I mean, Sonic would never fight a girl. He would never fight a girl. Unless the girl is evil, I guess. I don't know. But anyway, I'm not going to lie. This definitely really did hurt me a lot. It really did hurt me because this was around the time when Sonic, he was about to go leave. He was about to leave to uh, spend some time with Scourge. He was going to go spend some time with Scourge because he really didn't want Fleetway to come out again and hurt everybody. So he went, so he was going to go to Moebius and hang out with Scourge for a little while. And then the whole mess with the um <laughs> the uh, zone jail arc happened and i'm not going to talk about that that's a story for another time uh, anyway um it was actually it was really really bad because fleetway he was actually controlling the negative emotions inside of sonya just making her more aggressive and angry and all that stuff it was just really bad really bad so yeah this video really did hurt me a lot but it was still really good and well put together anyway moving on Okay, now this one was definitely really funny. I really enjoyed this one. This one was funny. Away from all the negativeness and, un and into this one. This one I found really funny. This was when Sonic's family first meets Werehog Sonic. Sonic the Werehog. Because you see, every now and then, every now and then, Sonic is always turning into his Werehog form. And just when, just when everybody was coming back from, you know, doing who knows what. Manic was just so ha just home alone, doing all sorts of weird stuff and having a party with a strip pole and all sorts of other weirdness. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> and, but just so happened, it was one of those nights. It was one of those nights where Sonic turns into a werehog. And that's when his family discovers his little secret, his little nighttime secret. It's when he turns into a werehog at night. It's pretty crazy. <laughs> it's really crazy. And so he explained to everybody that uh, it doesn't happen every night. It only happens like a few nights. Like it just happens at random. And so, yeah, it was just really crazy. Everybody was actually impressed to uh, see Sonic like that. They were actually really impressed. They weren't scared anymore, but they actually were really impressed, especially Alina, because, you know, she's actually really happy that it doesn't matter what form Sonic takes. She's, he's still... Her, um, <clears throat> her baby boy, uh, I don't want to say that because it's going to make Sonic sound like a mama's boy and all that stuff, but I don't want that. Uh, but anyway, I am not going to lie. This video was definitely really funny. I might watch this video later. <laughs> it's really funny. It's really, really funny. I mean, I really am not going to lie. Queen, you really do a great job at Sonya. In fact, you really do a great job at Sonya in, in period. You really do a great job. Anyway, moving on to the next one.
Okay, now this one was a really, really recent video that popped up on Speedy Blue's channel. It's basically Sonic's doing these uh, videos where he's talking about his past relationships. And this one was the very first one. This one was when he first, well, this one was when he was dating Breezy. This is when he was dating Breezy. It was really crazy and stuff. And I'm not going to lie, Queen, you really do a great job voicing Breezy. We need to see Breezy more on the channel. We really do. This is like, what, the second time? This is like the second time I've seen Breezy on Speedy Blue's channel. And we really do need to see more of her. Anyway, guys, like I said before, Speedy Blue was going to be uh, doing these... Uh, these uh, past date videos. It's when he's talking about all his past relationships. You know, the ones that he had before he was with Amy. One, and this is the first one. This was like his his past date with uh, Breezy. The other one was his past date with Honey. Another one was his past date with Rouge. And yes, Speedy Blue Sonic and Rouge actually did date. It was pretty funny. <laughs> and I do believe the, and I do believe there was another one that's coming up. Um. I believe it's his past date with Sally. I saw it on Twitter, so it's going to be happening soon. I don't know when it's going to be happening, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be happening soon. I saw the thumbnail on Twitter, so yeah, I probably it probably will happen. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, this one was definitely really great. This was Breezy's second appearance on Speedy Blue's channel, because honestly, I really did miss seeing Breezy on the channel, because... There was one video that Breezy actually was in that I really miss seeing, and uh, it was really crazy. It was really nice seeing this one again. I really enjoyed it. <laughs> anyway, guys, we're on to the last video, and it's the video that I'm talking about. You know, the one that I that the one that Breezy actually showed up in that I really miss, and it's this one. This was when Sonic first met Breezy again. After many, many years. After many, many years, Sonic and Breezy reunite once again. They reunite once again. <laughs> and uh, so basically what happened was, was that there was a weird bank loan that, I don't know what the heck happened, or some weird bank event, where Sonic, he had to go to the bank and see if he can get things squared away. When out of nowhere, he actually saw that Breezy was the manager. She was actually, he was actually really surprised to see Breezy after so many years. Oh, and uh, Queen, not to judge you or anything, but the first time you ever voiced Breezy, this right here, this was sort of like a combination of you trying to be both Rouge and Rosie. I can hear a little bit of Rosie's voice in there, and I know you don't voice act as Rouge, but I did hear a little bit of Rouge in there. <laughs> Anyway, but the second time, this one, you definitely, you definitely did do a great job improving the voice. You really did do a great job. I guess a lot of practice really did pay off. But anyway, like I said, this one was definitely really funny. Because, you see, Breezy, she was just flirting with Sonic and all that other stuff. But then Sonic tried to explain to her that he had a girlfriend and everything. He had a girlfriend, had a relationship and everything. And their time was over. <laughs> it was uh, really crazy. But anyway... <sighs> That's all the videos, guys. That's all of them. Okay, so before I sign off, I just want to say one thing. Queen AG, you really are an amazing YouTuber. Keep up the good work. Continue making us laugh. Continue us making us cry. And just continue pulling at our heartstrings because you really do touch the hearts and souls of anybody who watches the videos that you make or the videos that you star in. You really do touch the hearts and souls of lots and lots of people, including me included. And I know what you guys are probably going to be thinking. No, I'm not a crazy fan. I'm just saying, I'm just showing my appreciation to her. She definitely deserves it. I mean, look at all the stuff I just named. Look at all the stuff that I just got done talking about. She actually did do a really, really great job with all these videos, okay? She really does do a really great job with all these videos. Anyway... Like I said before, guys, that's it for this video, this best of video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like and comment down below. And also, let me know in the comments down below which one of these videos did you guys like the most. 
just let me know which one of these videos do you did you guys like or which ones did you like me hearing talking about and stuff and also one other thing guys if you guys are not already subscribed to queen ag i'll be putting the link i'll be putting her channel name down in the i'll be putting the link to her channel down in the description below so that way you guys can check her out so that way you guys can check her out and not only that but feel free to go to um speedy blue shadow the hedgehog t varia and lots of other channels because believe it or not she actually stars in them so Guys, get ready, because guys, I really do hope that she actually does do some more great videos in the future, because YouTube will not be the same without her. Anywho, anywho, Queen EG, thank you so much for everything that you have done. Keep up the good work, and uh, maybe one day, one day, you can introduce me to your little group, you know, Speedy Blue and everybody else, and maybe one day I'll be a part of your group. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Um, there is one request that I was thinking about doing. It's probably going to be a stupid idea, but if you like, I can voice act as a Sonic for Crazy Amy. Because, you know, she is really that desperate to uh, find an Amy. So, I mean, to find a Sonic. So, I was thinking maybe I could voice act as a Sonic for you. So, what do you think? Just think about it, okay? And let me know, all right? You can find me on uh, lots of other stuff. You can find me on lots of stuff. Or you can just do what you've been doing, contacting me from uh, the comments section and lots of other stuff. But anyway, and if you guys are not already subscribed to my channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that way you guys will be up to date whenever I post. Anywho... This is Flame the Dragonhog signing out for now. Later, flamethrowers.